All right, it feels weird to be doing a Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday, but how about we call it World's Wednesday? You want to? World's Day? Oh, yeah, World's Day. Yeah, there you go. ACO World's Day. How about that? The only thing we're missing is a beer. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. You know, you got time. You got time. <laughs> should I run? I think you should. All right, let's run. Let's see if we can get this done. <laughs> the whole point is you've been waiting long enough to find out where Worlds for Season 19 is going to be held. And honestly, there were different times when we had planned on announcing, but we thought right before Spooky Nook would be a great opportunity because we're getting excited about a tournament that's coming up. And we know you're going to be excited about the announcement that we are about to make. And I think you might be thinking something that you probably shouldn't be thinking, but it's okay. You'll be thinking what you're supposed to be thinking any minute now. Does that make sense? It's World's Day. It's World's Day. (laughs) And if it's going to be World's Day. We got to celebrate. We got to start it the right way. So the bottom line is we can just sit here and tell you where it's going to be, or we can bring in a special guest who can help us unveil where season 19 worlds is going to be here on this world's day. And I think maybe that's what we should do. Let's go ahead and welcome in our guest. You may, may, may recognize him. Well, hang on, hang on for just, just, let's bring him in. And that guy right there may not look familiar to you, but he also might, he looks very familiar to me. And I know he looks very familiar to you. And maybe that logo on his T-shirt is a little bit of a giveaway. Dave Kirk, our guest, you've got the cornhole bag in hand. You're ready to go. And R-O-M-P is a nice little clue as to where we're going to for the world. I'm not going to ruin it by saying what I was going to say. Where we're going to for the world championships of season 19. So you you go ahead and spill the beats. Sure. Well, obviously, uh, Frank and Finn, we're delighted here in Owensboro, Kentucky. We're going back to back. You're coming back. We we had you last year. We're coming back to the Owensboro Convention Center in 2024, bigger and better than ever. Yeah, this is awesome. We had such a good time. And, you know, it was funny because we were talking about this uh, off before we got started. We'll talk about it after we let you go. But just the vibe between the city of Owensboro and the ACO has been huge for years. I mean, you've attested to that time and time again. But there was really something very special about this past Worlds 18. And everything we heard from you was like, would you guys ever thinking about doing it back to back? And we're looking around, watching everybody smiling and digging what we were doing. I'm like, and I look at him and he goes, oh, yeah, we would do that. Why not? I mean, when you find a perfect girl, you want to go out with her again, right? <laughs> I found a perfect wife and I went out with her again. <laughs> Uh, so so let's talk about that. The, the whole idea of back to back, you and Mark and the and the crew there, you know, you've seen what's happened over the last 10 years. Owensboro just keeps getting bigger. I mean, I can't even imagine by the time we get there in January for the super major, what's going to be built across the street from the convention center and what just continues to be built up and down that river walk. Yeah, I mean, Owensboro is, is, is one of the fastest growing cities in Kentucky. Centrally located, we're within 800 miles. 80% of the U.S. population. We've got a thriving downtown with a convention center. There's hotels and restaurants going up all around it. Of course, there already is an abundance, like you said. Uh, but, you know, you're when you come to Owensboro, you're going to see cranes. You're going to see progress. It is a city on the move. And listen, we know how to cornhole down here uh, and just, oh, mostly what this sport is doing, how fast it's growing. And obviously, we want to be a part of that again. That's great. Well, you're going to have to let the Green River guys know they've got about, what, about uh, eight, nine, ten months to really get to that distilling to catch up with the demand. So uh, <laughs> that's all That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I'm, I'm, I might be a little deeper into the Green River than I thought. But uh, we're going to be even deeper into the Ohio River and the south bank of the Ohio, just across from uh, Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana, where I know a lot of families went. But there are so many things on that south side of the river, up and down uh, from the VFW Hall to all the restaurants where you get the, I think, what was it, the burrito that was as big as both of our heads put together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything in between. So, Dave, uh, honestly, back-to-back in Thronesboro, Kentucky, is very exciting for us. We can tell you guys are excited based on the conversations we've been having. We can't wait to get back at the end of July. We can't wait to host you uh, even longer this year or, or this upcoming season. I mean, it. we'll see you in January. We get to see you again in July. And, you know, like I said, we just appreciate uh, the ACO's investment in uh, in us uh, because this is this what this does for our community. Not only uh, do we hope you have a, a blast, but I mean, the 
the money that that uh, these people invest in Owens for that week, and then the locals, golly, they just enjoy it so much, and uh, we just can't wait to bring you guys back and uh, have a little bourbon, sing a little bluegrass, and we'll go back to my old Kentucky home. There you go. <laughs> the bluegrass, the bourbon, and the barbecue all sound good. And Thronesboro, back-to-back, happy to announce that. And I'm going to be working hard. There you go. I'm going to be working <laughs> hard. I'm going, be working, I'm going to be working your city officials hard to an official city name change, AC Owensboro. That's where we're. That's what I'm going <laughs> after. I'm going for AC Owensboro to make it permanent. Oh, man. Love it. This is so cool, man. I'm excited to be back there. Summertime. You just better bring good weather again, Dave. That's all I got for you. I'll order it. I, January, I, you know, I can't get – hey, you know what's great? Everything is inside when it comes to Cornhole. We've got a massive building with all the food and beverage that you need, and it's all under shelter. But uh, I'll put in a special word to, to try to uh, get it ready yeah, next, for us again. Next July, we better be ready, baby. Yeah, well, between the Super Major, adding a day to the Super Major in January, coming back to back to Thronesboro, Kentucky for the world's a bigger tailgater zone. A bigger Friday after five, a bigger everything is what we're expecting, and it's just going to keep getting bigger from there. So, Dave, thank you so much for taking the time. Very excited to be coming back and announcing Thronesboro back-to-back for seasons 18 this past season and season 19, and I think our players are going to totally dig it. Can't wait to see you guys. Right on. Look at that. (laughs) He knocked his camera over. Man, that pitch looked really familiar. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, me. That looks like one of mine right there. But thanks to Dave Kirk and Mark Kalitri and everybody in Owensboro, we're excited to announce that we're going to be back to back in Thronesboro, Kentucky. Hopefully you'll be as excited as we are. You looked like you were excited to be there, and knowing that it's going to just be bigger and better is kind of bigger and better. Bigger and better. That's all that needs to be said, man, right. really. I mean, and if you've been to Owensboro – uh, you know it's a great city. You know it's a great cornhole community. Yeah, uh, they've got so many things going on in that community, as Dave alluded to with the restaurants. Oh yeah, that you know you talked about it. What is Santa Claus? Um... Uh, Santa Claus Land right across the river for families, but so much stuff on the south side of the uh, Ohio River. But let's talk about this a little bit because it's rare. If have we ever back to back before? Have we ever been back to back early on? Maybe. Early on we did. Early on we did. We were in Vegas uh, a couple of years. In oh, row. that's right. A couple of years in a row. That was when I found out that I was Max's father. I think the, <laughs> the one time, but anyway, but the bottom line is an opportunity to go back to a city that opens us with welcome arms. It's easy pretty much for everybody to get to affordable and lots of fun. And they just keep adding more and more stuff. Now that said, the work has begun on upcoming years. So we will continue to uh, to develop the upcoming seasons, the upcoming world championships, but the opportunity to go back to back in a place that you had such a good time at last time, we couldn't pass that up. Right, right. And then and, and we couldn't, we could, there's no way we could. I mean, it was the best, well, w- arguably one of the best world championships of all time. I think, yeah, I think I, it was one of the ones I had a blast at. Easily. The um, schedule was perfect. The way it worked out, the tailgater zone, expect that to be bigger and better than ever as well. And, and ideally, too, we're working our way through this season, finding ways to engage local communities. And we expect to see a lot more folks from Owensboro who were maybe just sniffing around this pastime. And certainly during the Super Major, they're going to be back. And I think some people might be honing their game and coming after a few of you. So know that that intense competition, even in the social part of it with the tailgater zone and, and, and so on and so forth is just going to be bigger and better. But the bottom line is bigger, better, back to back, Thronesboro season 19. The announcement comes here on World's Day. We're excited to announce it to you. We'll be excited to hear your feedback. And now you've got plenty of time to plan. Yeah. And go right. celebrate now this evening. There you go. Get out and enjoy your World's Day evening. Cheers to you. We will do the same. And again, as always, now that the road to Thronesboro is being paved yet again, you know what you're shooting for. So I am Finn the Loudmouth for the ACO, and he is Frank Gears the Cornhole Dude, reminding you, as always, keep on Thronesboro. <laughs> really? <laughs>